Ow! Greetings, YouTube. This is Dead Crash, better known as Brandon. I just got back from watching Prometheus, so I decided to give everybody a spoiler-free review. Well, as spoiler-free as I can possibly make it. I mean, if you don't want to know a thing about the movie, then I suggest you stop right here. So, <clears throat> anyway, most of you who have perhaps, you know, dug a little bit into the history behind the movie and the making of it know already that it's, well, <laughs> Ridley Scott's been kind of waffling on that. It's talking about, well, it is a prequel to Alien, and yet it isn't. Well, really, after watching the movie, it's a prequel to Alien. <laughs> there is just no way around it. It is a straight-up prequel. However, the story that it tells is something separate from the Alien franchise, though it leaves something for you to understand its connection with Alien, actually in a big way, if you've seen some of the the um, trailers and whatnot, you already know. If you've watched Alien, you know about the design for the alien ship and the quote-unquote space jockey, and, and the things that, and this and um and and, and its design and such. And and it the movie does. Um, it really does kind of expand on that. It, it's taken concepts that left a lot of people with a lot of questions in the first Alien movie and have actually expanded on them and expanded them in a very fascinating way. So, to start off, the for those of you who are right now, I'm just going to give the basic plot. Uh, the movie takes place in the future year 2093, if I remember right, or 2092. And this ginormous spaceship called the Prometheus is built to go to a distant planet where these ancient glyphs have basically, uh, they've basically done these calculations with these ancient glyphs to show, well, this is where the human race's origins might well be. And what they find there is both, well, fascinating and terrifying, uh, having to do with mankind's origins and the beings that supposedly created us. Now, the story in and of itself is where is the main strength in Prometheus. Now, I'll tell you first and foremost, I really, really liked this movie. It was a movie I was really waiting for, and I even read a few reviews about it, and I kind of spoiled myself a little bit by reading about it on, uh, on Wikipedia before the movie came out. Fortunately, I just kind of skimmed it so I didn't, you know, spoil the whole entire thing. And I have to say, that was pretty incredible. The story of the movie is really, really well done. But then again, it's Ridley Scott. And Ridley Scott is really good with telling stories. So I didn't have a problem. I didn't have any fears going into the movie about the story being subpar. It was just, it, it's, it's stupendous, astounding. It really is one of those ones that make you go, wow. Um, now... It, it had um, it had great visuals and of course visual effects really wonderful both with computer animation and other things that they use especially with the effects concerning uh, David uh, who is one of the characters this android who's part of the crew it seems like all the alien movies have of course had an android in the crew of course you know the first one is Ash the second one is Bishop uh, well uh, excuse me the third one didn't well the third one had Bishop for a very brief time uh and then the fourth one had call so anyway you have this android named david now the movie really like i said astounded me with the visual effects and the uh storyline now it wasn't without its flaws however i found the pacing to be a bit strange at times the movie felt like certain bits of it were left on the cutting room floor and left you wondering, okay, what happened here? Because obviously it looks like there was a little bit more to tell with this. Um, <clears throat> not only that, some parts, at least the movie starts off, it's just ponderously slow, And but however, when it gets to the the stuff, it really grabs you and, 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 and pulls you along pretty, pretty well. Uh, however, there are some parts where you wish that it could have slowed down just a bit, and, 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 and the parts where it does slow down I don't know. It just felt a little bit lacking to me. Like there, there was. It could have slowed down just a little bit more. 
and, and then the parts that were going very fast went a little too fast. That's just me. Maybe other people who are watching the, the, the movie might not have felt the same way. Uh, that's just how I felt about the pacing. It wasn't terrible. It just felt, like, very strange. Uh, another flaw in the movie to me is the characterization. Now, this is more of a, a weird thing with me. In, on the one hand, the characters who had very strong parts did a very good job. However, there were a couple of them that really had, they, they were focusing a lot on them, but there really wasn't much said about them. Uh, case in point, Charlize Theron's character, who is supposed to be a, a suit for the Wayland Corporation. It's not Wayland yutani yet, I guess that, that comes along later in the history of the mythos of the Alien franchise. Um, they, now, they do explain things about her as the story goes along. It's just, to me, it felt like she was supposed to be more important than the movie made her out to be. It just struck me as really strange. Now, um, the, the, where the movie shines is, is in Fassbender's character, which is the android David. He was very multi-layered for a being which supposedly had no soul, had a very vast interest in a lot of things, made some very sharp observations on the human condition, and yet was a character you felt a fondness for and yet could be severely creeped out by because on the one hand he would do something that made you really care about him and on the other hand because he didn't see things in the way humans did he lacked a sense of morality I guess he just well as a robot he would do what he was told by humans also the other uh, really great performance uh, in the in the movie of course is it, through the main character um Numi Rapace, uh, her, her character, Elizabeth Shaw. And she's supposed to be a scientist who also is a woman of faith, and yet going out into the stars to find humanity's origins. Now, <laughs> it, it really tickled me how the movie approached this. It, I, I think that it should have approached this a little bit more strongly. I guess maybe it was trying to avoid the whole controversy bit. And I, I really felt that the, the movie tackled the whole so-called controversy with, you know, where we came from about creation and all this kind of stuff. Might have made for a bit for a bit more interesting addition into the, uh, into the story. But having her as a woman of faith and... <clears throat> They did ask some very interesting and pointed questions about how she reconciles this kind of stuff. But not only that, all all the stuff that uh the all the things that happen to her throughout the story really test her faith in some in some respects. But I still think that they did not focus enough on that. They should have ha you know, they should have built up on that a little bit more. So plot wise, like I said, it, it had a great plot, and I guess Thinking about it now, <clears throat> there were some things that probably could have been expanded on to make it more interesting. But of course, they do have a time have a time frame, and this is where I'm really hoping that Prometheus has a director's cut. Uh, I used to own the Alien quadrilogy, and I that set had all the uh, all the DVDs with the original and the original theatrical and director's cuts. And I found the director's cuts kind of added a little bit more spice and interesting. Uh, stuff into the movies. Uh, I keep saying stuff. Interesting uh, nuances to the movie. I'm hoping that that's what a director's cut for Prometheus would be, because this movie is a movie that really feels like it needs a director's cut. The The plot was great, could have been strengthened in just a couple more places, if you ask me, but it wasn't. It, it was still really, it was really well done. Characterization, oh, <clears throat> and this is what I want to say. The like I said, the characters I did a great focus on still felt like they, in some cases, that there was a bit more to tell. Whereas the background characters were way too background. And there were a couple of occasions <clears throat> where they did some really, if you ask me, dumb things. This is one part with the two characters, and you don't understand when you get to it, do something incredibly stupid. And you just kind of, that just kind of struck me as like, I, I can't believe they, that they did this. Now, I read a few reviews. I watched a few people uh, reviewing the movie before I went to go see it. 
and I think that that probably you know is what they were were saying about certain things that might have been added because well Ridley Scott was probably told to or um, or you know it was just some stuff that I keep saying stuff but in this case it works just some stuff that uh, that maybe the the the, um, the studio you know kind of wanted I, I don't know this case yeah this was something that was just unbelievably stupid that they did not could not believe that they had done they did something like that and I don't want to say it I wish I could I really want to try to make this as spoiler free as possible but other characters I feel that the movie was trying to do more with but really didn't really wasn't able to get enough into the movie to do it though it did make them some in interesting and likable characters it just felt that there was not enough time to add to it where the rest were basically your cannon fodder however the movie was not along the lines of a of a, of a straight up horror story like alien was or a straight up well sort of action sci-fi horror movie like aliens was this really was a movie of discovery which just happened to have some very tragic consequences and i really liked the way it played out and especially the thing that happens at the end which is going to it, it, you <laughs> i really wish i could tell you but let's just say if you're a fan of the aliens movies then you'll really like what happens at the end and it also, what happens at the end, it shows that Ridley Scott is really trying to make this into a separate franchise unto itself. And I'm sincerely hoping that they do make a sequel to this. I'd love to see more, what, what more they could tell in regards to this. Because the movie does present some pretty cool things to think about. But yet, at the end, and a lot of reviewers said this, and I must agree. It leaves you with with just about as many questions as you have answers to it. So it uh, so and not only that, uh, it, it does it does weave the answers uh, very well because David and it does a lot through David, who not only works as a very interesting character, but also as a pretty much walking plot device. But it's not in one of those, you know, cheesy, predictable ways. It, it's it's elegantly done. You don't understand why. So, like I said, on the whole, I really, really liked this movie. The plot was incredible. Characters could have been better, but did very well with what they were given. Acting performances, even from the weakest ones, were very strong. Um, the pacing was a little weird, but on the whole, I didn't have a major problem with it. Visuals, cinematography, you know, special effects, all great. And so it's a movie I really, really recommend everyone go see. It's probably one of the, gonna be one of those movies that a lot of people have very varying reactions to. I've read some reviews that were most reviews that I've read are great, are, are really positive, and I've seen at least one that was overall negative and well to me I think he was being a bit too harsh. But in the end of the day, I don't I don't, you know, hold anything against him. If he didn't like the movie, he didn't like it. And I'm, and when I look at the movie on, on a whole, I can understand where some people probably wouldn't like it. But my point of view, I really enjoyed it. And it's one of those movies that a lot of the reviewers said, well, it was good, but not quite what I expected. I have to agree once again with those reviewers. It really was good and yet not quite what I expected. But that wasn't necessarily, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There were movies that I've seen before that I could say were very good, but not what I expected. It brings to mind District 9, which was one of those movies. You know, I thought it was going to be this all out action thing, yet he had a, a striking. Um. What's the word? Commentary on, on on racism and apartheid, where it it did it did hit the nail on the head with the racism and apartheid thing, but it wasn't a flat out action movie. It was very very introspective, much more so than I thought it would be. And and so with with Prometheus, the same thing. I really did not know what to expect because I kept myself in the dark for quite some time until, well, quite frankly, I couldn't stand it anymore. And. <clears throat> 
when the reviews came out and said this is a movie about discovery, it really is, and I really enjoyed it. And it really answers a lot of questions to the Alien franchise, and yet, like I said, it brings up a whole lot more, and I'm sincerely hoping that this is the start of a great franchise. And I have to say to Ridley Scott, congratulations, you have hit another homer. I loved it. And for those of you who are planning to go see it, I sincerely hope you enjoy it as much as I did. For those of you who are kind of straddling the fence, I say, hey, please, go and see it. It was great. You know, it may not be quite what you expect, but it was quite a good movie. So, that's my take on it. And, you know, if you have your own two cents on it, uh, just leave some comments down in the doobly-doo. Doobly -doo. Comment, rate, subscribe. Keep it civil as always. So, uh, that's it for me. And so, that, once again, this is Dad Crash, better known as Brandon. For everyone out there, stay lucky and stay blessed.